Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video. And today, I am bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 gameplay using the Pharaoh on the map Hunted. And the Pharaoh is an amazing gun, and I really want to talk about it today. But before I talk about that gun, it is right now is double XP and double weapon XP in Black Ops 3. And yeah, so it's going from Friday, um, which was actually yesterday, at two, all the way to Tuesday morning. And yeah, so I'd be ranking up if I were you guys. And not only can you rank up, but also earn all those attachments a lot quicker, which is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool how they added uh, double XP and double weapon XP during the same weekend. But anyway, another thing I wanted to talk about before I get into the Pharaoh is this map, <coughs> the, the hunt, hunted map. It looks a lot different than it was before. Um, I don't know if the gameplay you guys are seeing is actually... Is, that this, is this the new gameplay? I think this is the new game. I think this is the gameplay that was after the update that came onto PlayStation and Xbox One. But basically they changed the way uh, Hunted looked like. Uh, for some reason, Hunted like looks different. Its color scheme is a lot different. It's like it's brighter and the shadowing is different in some areas. It's weird. It's really weird. It feels a lot different. You can tell that the map looks different when you play it. From before the patch and then after the update and so I don't know for some reason it's weird I don't know if this is the I think this gameplay is the new map I can't really tell from just looking at my computer screen while the gameplay is playing but yeah I don't know why um, I'm not sure why uh, they changed it but it's, it's an alright change it's not a bad change it's not like they changed the map where like oh you can't go underwater now or something like that I mean the map still plays the same and all that kind of stuff but anyway I want to talk about the Pharaoh here this is a submachine gun it's the second to the last submachine gun in its category and it's a three, no, four round burst submachine gun. And if you hold down the trigger, it can burst automatically, which is my favorite feature about this submachine gun. And for some reason, I think this is my favorite submachine gun. The Weevil used to be my favorite submachine gun. For some reason, uh, the Weevil, I liked it. I think it was because I liked it because it was automatic. It might be my favorite automatic submachine gun. But the Pharaoh, for some reason, I just really like this gun. And I think I'm a big fan of burst weapons. When I use a burst uh, assault rifle, some machine gun in a Call of Duty game, for some reason I get attracted to it. I usually like use burst assault rifles because that's really what burst uh, is like meant for. They burst, there's really no such thing as like burst some machine guns, but this burst some machine gun is really awesome. I like how you can hold down the trigger and it'll burst automatically. And it's just really good at deadly close range. I mean, it's, it's like accuracy is really good. When I, when I use a weapon, I look for its accuracy and this gun has very, very good accuracy, which is something I really enjoy about it. And not, to, not, not that it's accuracy when you aim down sights, but it's accuracy when you hit fire is very good as well. And this is a very, very close to medium range weapon. Um, the attachments I use is long barrel and, oh, uh, was it quick draw? No, oh, it's stock. It's actually stock. For some reason, um, I actually started using stock on this gun because I unlocked stock. I'm like, you know, I've never actually really used stock in this game. So I gave stock a go. And stock is very useful in this weapon. Oh my gosh. I think it's pretty useful on like all submachine guns, but using stock. On the Pharaoh, for some reason, it actually helps you dodge bullets, and it makes me play so much better than what I used to play. And so, and in this gameplay, I actually go absolute ham with this weapon. Um, I think I earned myself a hater. Oh, I must have earned myself a hater, because I, or else I probably wouldn't be showing this gameplay and record it from theater mode, which, actually, theater mode is very useful. I think I'm going to make another video talking about theater mode. But the Pharaoh, um, I think it's not, I'm not actually not even sure if it's called the Pharaoh, to be completely honest with you. It's spelled P-H-A-R-O. And so I don't know if it's pronounced Pharaoh, like the Pharaoh, like the Egyptian god king or something like that, or it's supposed to be pronounced Paharo. I'm not really sure exactly how you're supposed to pronounce this name, but I'm going to call it Pharaoh because Pharaoh just so, seems so much easier for me to pronounce. Um, and, and a matter of fact, I actually did a supply drop opening not too long ago. It was actually yesterday, but I haven't uploaded the gameplay yet. And I actually got ice camo for this gun, which I think is awesome. Which, have you guys noticed that ice camo? Like, looks exactly like Element 115 camo, the green camo, you know, but it's blue. That's that's what I think Ice Camo is. I think it's just a reskin of Element 115, only it's blue, which is, and I'm not complaining, honestly, because I don't have Element 115, but I do have Ice Camo for this gun, which looks really cool. But, you know, camos on the Pharaoh um, really don't stand out that well, because it is a submachine gun, and it's a smaller gun compared to assault rifles or light machine guns. But this gun is very small, actually. It's actually pretty dang small. And if you put your camo on it and then your paint job feature on it, your paint job kind of takes up most of the gun, and you can barely see most of your camo on there. But I mean, I don't know. I just when I make uh, paint shops, I usually don't go too in detailed in them. Once in a while, I'll go detailed and like try make a really cool looking picture. But uh, I just like the one I have on the Pharaoh here is just a, a pink background with like 
blue, um, like, squiggly lines on it or something. I don't know. It was, like, something really simple that I made for the Pharaoh or Paro, whatever it's called. But another reason why I like this gun, of course, it's a submission gun, so I'm able to run around really easily with. It just feels like it's one of those guns where it fits well with the movement system. I don't know why. It just really does. Like, I like boosting around, running on walls, shooting people while running on walls. I don't know. It's just, it's just a gun that really fits into the game. And it really fits into my play style when I try and rush people. It's a very good rushing weapon, in my personal opinion. And like I said before, for some reason, there's something about burst weapons I just really like about them, like the MA87. I go absolutely ham with that gun, even though that gun's really powerful. But I do really good with it as well. Same with the XR2. XR2, I do really good. And previous Call of Duty games with whatever burst weapons. Those be, for some reason, I really like burst weapons. Burst weapons are basically meant for medium to long ranges. It's but for the Paharo, Pharaoh, whatever this is gun is called. It's very good at those close to medium ranges, which I think is really nice because I like using burst weapons, and using a burst weapon at close quarters uh, just really benefits me for some reason. And another reason, uh, another thing about this uh, this burst weapon is kind of a go back in time here. Back in Black Ops 2, which was like three years ago, it was before Advanced Warfare, before Call of Duty Ghost, so yeah, about three years ago when Black Ops 2 was, was out. Um, I, one of my favorite submachine guns was actually the Chicom. And if you guys don't know what the Chicom was, this was actually a three-round burst submachine gun. So it's like the Faro in Black Ops 2. It's like the Chicom is, is very similar to the Faro, only back then, um, you couldn't hold down the trigger for it to burst automatically. So I had to keep pressing the trigger to actually, um, get the bullets out. So I couldn't hold it so it couldn't burst automatically. But anyway, the Chicom was a burst of machine gun in that game, and I almost got a nuclear. I've never earned myself a nuclear medal in this game. I've gotten very close, which I actually have gameplay for. And in Black Ops 2, I've never earned a nuclear medal. I've earned chem strikes in Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm not sure how many. I've earned a couple of them. And then Advanced Warfare, I've never earned a DNA bomb, but I have earned a couple of vicious medals, though. Um, but in Black Ops 2, I've never earned myself a uh, nuclear medal, which kind of sucked. And I remember the map. The map I was playing on was Uplink, which is a remade map of... Oh, I can't even remember the original map name, but it was a remade map of some of a map from Black Ops One, and I was using the Chicom on that map, and and so I almost got a nuclear medal. I actually it was on team deathmatch, which is quite impressive, and I got 27. I was on a 27 kill streak, and then I eventually died on that 27 kill streak, and it really sucked. I'm like, oh my god, I was only like three kills away from getting nuclear, but I really wasn't actually. I actually think I was only on a 20 kill streak. I never actually got the 25 kill streak medal because. I was actually using Lightning Strike, which actually uh, gets me kills, but it doesn't count towards like my nuclear medal. So that, I I thought I was really close, and which I was. I mean, I was on a 20 kill streak. So, but using that first submachine gun, like for some reason, I always did very well with it, and it reminds me of using the Pharaoh in this game for Black Ops 3. So that's kind of like my history story right there, because like that's my. I don't know why, for some reason I like burst weapons, like for some reason they benefit me, I don't know why compared to like automatic guns or semi-automatic weapons, like for some reason I just love burst weapons, they just, I think the reason why I love burst weapons is because I know exactly how many bullets it will take to kill my enemy, so like the MA87, if, if, I believe the MA87 is a 4 round burst weapon, and if you shoot all 4 bullets, like it shoots 4 bullets at a time, if you have all 4 of those bullets, hit the enemy then they'll die but if one of those bullets misses then you have to shoot again and hopefully get the kill but that's something about the M87 I know exactly how many bullets it takes to kill an enemy and that's probably why I like burst guns because I exact know how exactly many bullets it takes to kill an enemy but yeah anyway hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video if you did, please be sure to leave a rating wherever you guys feel this video deserves and I shall catch you guys later